The word woman is one of several alternative spellings of the English word women used by some feminists. There are other spellings, including womban a reference to the womb or woman singular, and women plural. Some writers who use such alternative spellings, avoiding the suffix man or men, see them as an expression of female independence and a repudiation of traditions that define women by reference to a male norm. Historically, woman and other spelling variants were associated with regional dialects, e.g., Scots, and I dialect, e.g., African American vernacular English. Topic: <laughs> Old English. Old English had a system of grammatical gender, whereby every noun was treated as either masculine, feminine or neuter, similar to modern German. In Old English sources, the word man was neuter. One of its meanings was similar to the modern English usage of one as a gender-neutral indefinite pronoun compare with mankind man plus kind, which means the human race. The words wer and wyf were used, when necessary, to specify a man or woman, respectively. Combining them into wer man or wyf man expressed the concept of any man or any woman. Some feminist writers have suggested that this more symmetrical usage reflected more egalitarian notions of gender at the time. 18th, 19th, and early 20th century uses The term women was considered by George P. Crapp (1872–1934), an American scholar of English, to be I dialect, the literary technique of using non-standard spelling that implies a pronunciation of the given word that is actually standard. The spelling indicates that the character's speech overall is dialectal, foreign, or uneducated. This form of non-standard spelling differs from others in that a difference in spelling does not indicate a difference in pronunciation of a word. That is, it is dialect to the eye rather than to the ear. It suggests that a character would use a vulgar pronunciation if there were one, and is at the level of ignorance where one misspells in this fashion, hence mispronounces as well. The word woman appeared as an older Scots spelling of woman in the Scots poetry of James Hogg. The word women appeared in 19th century renderings of black American English, without any feminist significance. Topic. Current usage in the United States The usage of woman as a feminist spelling of women with woman as the singular form first appeared in print in 1976 referring to the first Michigan Woman's Music Festival. This is just after the founding of the Mountain Moving Coffeehouse for Woman and Children, a lesbian feminist social event centered around women's music. Both the annual Mick Fest and the weekly coffeehouse operated a woman-born woman policy. Woman's land was another usage of the term, associated with separatist feminism. Z. Budapest promoted the use of word women singular woman in the 1970s as part of her Dianic Wicca movement, which claims that present-day patriarchy represents a fall from a matriarchal golden age. These re-spellings existed alongside the use of her story, a feminist re-examination and retelling of history. Later, another wave of female-produced music was known as the Riot GRRRL movement. The word, woman, has been criticized by trans activists due to its usage in trans-exclusionary radical feminist circles which exclude trans women from identifying into the category of, woman, and consequently prevent them from accessing spaces and resources for women. Topic. Current usage in the United Kingdom Millie Tant, a fictional character in the British satirical comic Viz, often used the term women when discussing women's rights. See also Feminist language reform Gender neutral language Wamoon References Further reading Saul Steinmetz, Woman, the Evidence. American Speech, Vol. 70, No. 4, Winter, 1995, pp. 429 437. 